Are you sure this is good? Okay, how much do I pay for this? 10,000 pesos pay for that. What? 10,000 pesos? Where do you expect me to get that kind of money, huh? I'm just a student, man. Are you wasting my time? Do you want it or not? No! I just thought we were friends. I didn't know you would rip me off like this. Friends? You're just a customer, Alex. A customer. I don't want it anymore then. This is what you get for wasting my time. Don't do anything. I need to do something. Mr. Totoy Makapagal, you're under arrest for the murder of Alex Tagalga. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. If you can't provide an attorney, the government will provide one for you. Uh, do you understand your rights as I have them to you? Yes. Okay, sir. Let's go.
the witness accounts, the fingerprints found, and the sketch that match your description. But I didn't even know Alex Legata. It was another one that killed her. Please, believe me. I'm telling the truth. The more you deny it, the worse your punishment will be. I know it sounds unbelievable, sir. But it's the truth. The truth? I'm afraid the truth is far from what you are saying, Mr. Makapagal. You were looking at a long prison sentence and even the possibility of getting the death penalty. You were still arguing with her before she was killed. Do you have anything to say about that? I don't even remember arguing with her, sir. I don't even know who she is. Don't play dumb with me, Mr. Makapagal. We both know what happened. You had a grudge against Alex. Maybe because she didn't give you money or food. And because of that, you took matters into your own hands. What? No, sir. That's not true. I never had grudge against Alex. I told you. I don't even know who she is. But the evidence doesn't. Unless you have something else to say. No, sir. I have nothing else to say. We're done here. Hello, Senator. Oh, hello, Arthur. What brings you here? Well, don't keep me waiting, Arthur. Please come in and have a seat. I was able to talk with the suspect earlier, Senator. However, I don't obtain much information. What do you mean you couldn't get enough information, Arthur? You're our family lawyer, and I trusted you. We trusted you. You better come up with a plan that works, or else you're out of here. Uh, I understand, Senator, but I need more time. Good. I expect nothing less from you, Arthur. Get to work and tell me what you find out. Yes, Senator. the one who write those letters. The handwriting looks exactly like yours. <laughs> but I wasn't the one who wrote that. Are you sure this isn't your handwriting, Mr. Makapagal? I yes, sir. I'm not the one who wrote that. Then why are you so nervous? Why is that? Does that mean you're lying? No, sir. I'm telling you, I wasn't the one who wrote that letters. Then, why are you shaking, Mr. Makapagal? I'm not the one who wrote those letters. I'm telling you, I cannot do that to someone else. I have family to look out for. And yet, you still did it.
prosecution team and defense team ready? Yes, Your Honor. Are the witnesses ready? Yes, Your Honor. Attorney Ortiz, we may not call you first witness. Thank you, Your Honor. May I now call on Ms. Faye Imperial to the stand? Ms. Imperial, we may now proceed to the witness stand. Imperial, where were you exactly when, during the death of Miss Alex de Garda? Well, I was on my way home from classes with my friends. We took a different road that day because our usual road was blocked. Alright, I see. According to your testimony, you had passed by an enemy, correct? Yes, in the slum area. And what exactly did you witness in that? Anyway. Something caught our eye. We realized it was a bracelet that belonged to our friend Alex. We hadn't seen her the entire day, so we looked around the area for any sign of her, but we ended up finding her dead body. I see. And who did you see beside Alex Legarda's body? It was him. It's him. <laughs> You're telling me that the man, the defendant himself, is the person that you saw. Right. Now, what is what was he doing there? Did he try to display any sort of form of harm towards you? Yes. He was holding up a knife towards us. He was slowly walking towards us with the knife. And I think that he was threatening us. Objection is sustained. The witness must refrain from making statements based on the speculation. I see. Uh, I have no questions for this witness, Your Honor. Witness, you may step down. The prosecution may now call the defendant up to the stand for direct examination. Thank you, Your Honor. May I now call on Mr. Totoy Makapagal to the stand? Mr. Makapagal, you may now proceed to the stand. Now, Mr. Totoy, Makapagal, what was your relationship with Ms. Alex Legarda? Objection, Your Honor. Persecution's question is overstepping personal boundaries. Objection overruled. Attorney Manuel, you may now continue. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, back to my question. What was your relationship with Ms. Alex Legarda? None. I have no relationship with Ms. Alex Legarda. Is that so? Then what were you doing in that alleyway? What was your business there? What was your motive for killing her? Protection, Your Honor. Persecutions is making questions based on speculations. Objection overruled. Authority or peace has the right to question what is the motive behind the killing of Alex Legarda. Authority or peace, you may now continue. Thank you, Your Honor. Again, why were you at that alleyway? What was your business there? And what was your motive? Hmm? I did not kill Miss Alex Legarda. I was just looking for food to my family. And yet, the evidence says otherwise. You see, the witness statement states that you were the one that was spotted beside Alex Legarda's body. And that you were the one holding the knife that was used to kill her. Now, this very knife right here is what was used to kill Miss Alex Legarda. And police have also confirmed that you, Mr. Totoy Makapagal, smelled it using your fingerprints. Of course, we were also informed of the death threats that you had sent to her. Do you have anything to say about that? I did not write those letters. Hmm. Is that so? If you really didn't write those letters, then why in the world would they be written under your signature? Hmm? 
Do you hear me, Mr. Makapagal? This is clearly your handwriting and signature, is it not? I don't know. I don't really know. I did not murder Miss Alex Legata, and I didn't write that letters. Please, I'm begging you. Believe me. Well, you see, as much as I would like to believe you myself, can you prove it right here, right now, that you really did not murder Alex Legarda and that you did not send her any death threat because all the evidence points to you causing her death? I can't! I told you that I didn't kill her! Why won't you believe me? Your Honor, I have no more questions for this for this defendant. Are there any more witnesses to be called or statements from the defense team? If so, then this session is now on recess and we'll be back after an hour. This session is now on June. I told you all, I did not kill your daughter. It was someone else. You think I'm stupid enough to believe in a peasant like you who killed my daughter? Mom, please, I'm begging you. I did not kill your daughter. It was someone else. Remember this paper. You will never see a life for a life. People of the Philippines versus Mr. Paul and Mapagal. This honorable court finds accused guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Order the court. Clerk, give me now proceed. Reasonable doubt of the crime of the murder. Totoy was charged with the heinous act of murdering Ms. Alex Nagarda on the night of March 17, 2023, in Bukawi, Bulacan. The court finds Totoy Mapagal's actions to be cruel and unpremeditated. The court further notes that the crime committed by Totoy Makapagal falls into the category of a grave offense under the Republic Act 7659. And with the power vested into this court, Totoy Makapagal is sentenced to death. And so be it.